video we're going to discuss what things move the prices of bonds. So this will help you understand what's happening to your investment because it can be very confusing when your bond investments go down or when they suddenly shoot up. So hopefully this will help you understand and be able to pinpoint why the price of your investment has changed. One of the first things to know about um, changes in bond prices is that they're often caused by changes in ratings. So you should follow these very carefully. When rating agencies change their mind, so they reanalyze the company every so often, and they can come up with a different rating. They may move it from an AAA to an AA, like um, what happened to the UK government in being downgraded. Um, this can cause forced selling, so the price often has to fall because certain insurance companies are only allowed to hold certain classes of bonds in certain um, quantities, so they may have to sell out some of the bonds because it's been downgraded. Um, if you look into bond funds, a lot of them have in the rules that they're not allowed to hold uh, lots of junk bonds, they have to keep certain proportions because that's what the investors want, that's what they're investing in when they choose that fund. So that fund may be forced to sell. So the selling pressure can be quite high when bonds are downgraded. And the strongest effect you see is when they're called junk, when they're moved from an investment grade down to some rating below, usually investment grade is BBB. So when it's below that, the bond is labelled as junk and that has a very strong effect on prices. Uh, interest rates, very important to bonds. Uh, you may know that if interest rates go up, it causes bonds to go down. Uh, the price of bonds goes down. Uh, when interest rates go down, the price of bonds goes up. Um, so the coupon gets more or less attractive. If you're in a high interest rate environment, then a bond paying um, a low rate of return is not uh, as exciting. For example, if interest rates were five, uh, 6% here and you bought a bond yielding 5%, why would you put your money in risky, riskier bonds when you can make 1% more in the bank? So the price of bonds has to come down to move the yield up. So if the, that bond halved in price, it would be yielding 10% where uh, the bank's only getting you 6%, so you're getting 4% more holding the bond if that was to half in price. So that bond would be attractive again. That's why the price has to go down with interest rates. Uh, macro factors, they're extremely difficult to predict, but they do have a very strong effect. Um, central banks, asset buying, QE, uh, one of the biggest holders, probably the biggest holder of uh, UK government debt is the Bank of England. So if the Bank of England was to just suddenly decide that we're not buying any government bonds and they sold the whole lot, that would cause huge moves in the price of government bonds. Uh, not terribly likely for that to happen, it, just in theory. Um, also the central banks make the interest rate decisions and you've seen that interest rates affect bonds and also you've got a credit cycle. Sometimes um, companies really want um, credit. Other times companies are paying down a lot more debt, which affects the um, bonds that are being issued. Also you've got factors of political instability. You, you want to be lending money to stable governments or more stable countries rather than um, less stable countries. You're going to want a lot more money if you were lending to some Middle Eastern country that's got lots of political problems as opposed to lending to Germany which is at present very st stable. You also get what people talk about as a flight to safety which is what we've seen during the financial crash, which is where people start buying up lots and lots of government bonds that move out of riskier bonds into safer bonds, out of stocks, into uh, safer investments to preserve capital. Uh, also, changes in the underlying company obviously affect the bond. So, bad news about the com company can cause the bond to fall if the company posts big losses. 
that doesn't make it look very uh, good that you're going to get paid if the company continues to lose money so the, the bond's going to go down in value um, change the market sentiment uh, if a certain industry falls out of favour with the market that can uh, drive down the price of bonds um, whereas if people are very very happy with um, some sector and they think that it's got great future prospects then they're going to lend to it at a cheaper rate um, so the price of the bonds if the market sentiment improves the price of the bonds could go up um, and you also have to bear in mind when looking at ratings is that they don't change every day but the news flow is constant so although the rating of the bond hasn't changed because it's not been re-rated um, if really bad news comes up about the company um, before a rating then the rating that you're seeing isn't exactly what the real rating should be so there is a delay between news and ratings um, also got uh, coupon payments something that really fools people bonds accrue interest over time so uh, every day you can think about a little bit of interest um, the next payment is building up over time this is reflected in the price you talk about clean price and dirty price bonds get in a sense dirtier as time goes along they're adding up more and more interest that is going to be paid in the future uh, and usually the price of a bond will drop after the interest being paid uh, people often talk about capturing these payments buying the bond before it pays and then selling it afterwards which is you're just deluding yourself because that payment has been added up over time in the price uh, so you're not going to get any success doing that so that explains why um, after you get your your payment your bond may suddenly be worth less that confuses people and well uh, we'll look at real rate of return in the next uh, video